Hello everyone and welcome back to another long-awaited video. For those of you who do not know, my name is Zuri Porza. And after more than a year of not uploading anything, I'm back. So yes, you guys may be wondering what kind of reasons can I come up with now that I haven't uploaded anything over the past two years. Two years? No, I think just one year. More than a year. More than one year. Well, ever since online learning started way back last year, I really hadn't had the urge or the motivation to create any new content or upload anything yet, up until this point. I started revisiting some old passions and doing some other hobbies on the side. And in addition to that, my camera died. Yes, I'm talking about the Canon EOS M5. This camera. Long story short, after almost six long years of consistent and continuous use, it has reached its kind of breaking point. I mean, yes, I did have it checked out. And yes, the technician did say that it could still be saved and revived. But given the fact that the EOS M5 is not that much of a well-known camera and not that famous, replacement parts are really hard to find. So it left me with no choice. I had to upgrade my system. And yes, if you have seen a change in quality in my video, I have now switched to the Sony A6400. And yes, I have finally decided to switch to Sony. Yay, welcome to the Sony club. Now, if you want a review or a video of me talking about my experiences with this camera or my experience switching to this camera, then just leave a comment below. But all I can say is that so far, with my experience using this camera, this has been a real game changer for me and I have had a really fun experience using this. Anyways, enough of me talking about my past and let's jump into the desk setup itself. Now before I go in depth about my setup, let me decide as to why I decided to work on my setup. So first of all, since learning has been shifted online now, it made me realize how important I needed to be comfortable when listening to class or doing my homework. Top 10 lies you tell to yourself. And second, I've currently been working on some freelance editing work starting last summer and realized that I can't just keep on working on my laptop screen and keyboard forever if I want to be more efficient in my work. I needed to change things up, so hence, my new desk. Now this setup isn't perfect for anyone. I still do intend to add and upgrade more things to this setup in the near future, but in this video, this is the setup that has carried me through work and through school the entire year and hopefully this incoming year. So hi everyone, it's future Zuri here and I actually forgot to shoot the part where I actually talk about the setup. So, so let me talk about each part of this setup of mine. Starting off this setup is my table. Now this is a table from a brand called San Yan. It's made out of wood and it's covered in a wood grain vinyl texture, I think. Actually, when I first bought this, I actually thought that it was really big. And in fact it is, but then after putting all the peripherals and the things I have, it kinda shrank. But even though, it kinda still gets the job done and is really sturdy and durable. Next, we have the peripherals I use starting off with my mouse. So I actually use a all Logitech G series setup. I use the Logitech G304 as my mouse and the Logitech G240 mouse pad. For the keyboard, I use a, wait for it, Logitech G Pro X keyboard in GX Blue clicky switches. Now, fun fact, I've actually been dreaming of this keyboard ever since it's first released in 2019. And finally, I was able to purchase it this year, I mean actually last year, and I am really happy that I have it now. Now this is actually my first mechanical keyboard, and I gotta say, it is really quite heavy, but it is actually durable. I've also been gaming quite a lot now, and I've gotta say, the keyboard really feels well when I play. Also, here is a quick sound preview of the keyboard. Nah, I'm just kidding. Here's the real sound preview.
So hey guys, it's me again, Future Zuri 2.0, and I actually forgot to talk about my audio peripherals. So let me talk about it right now. So for my audio peripherals, which means my microphone and headphones, I use the Maono PM422 USB condenser microphone paired with the Maono AU MH601 studio headphones. Now, personally, I'm not really that of an audio guy, but for my kind of work, they actually work good and are very reliable. Now back to past future Zuri. Now moving on to the monitor I use, it's an Asus Tough Gaming VG27 VG279Q18. It's a 27 inch, 165 hertz, 1920 by 1080 p full HD IPS display monitor. Upgrading to a monitor is really one of the best purchases I've had for my setup. I mean, switching from my laptop screen to a 27-inch monitor really changed my workflow and the efficiency of it. It actually removed the burden of trying to color grade on a not-so-accurate screen. Also, I can really feel the smoothness of the 165Hz when gaming. And also with the help of its own sRGB mode, I can confidently color grade and color edit my photos and videos without sacrificing any color mishaps. And also, mounting my monitor and my laptop to my desk is the North Bayou H180 dual monitor desktop mount. And also it comes with a laptop holder. And to top off this setup is the machine, the engine that runs the whole setup. And yes, surprise surprise, the entire system is only run by a laptop. I use the Asus Tough Gaming FX505DV. It is really a great laptop and I've had little to no lag or issues working on this, even after two years since I bought this. And for all you laptop specs hungry viewers, it runs an AMD Ryzen 7 3750H mobile processor, an NVIDIA RTX 2060 GPU, 8GB of RAM, 512GB of M.2 NVMe storage, and a 1TB hard drive. And it has a 15.6-inch 120Hz 1920x1080 Full HD IPS display. And let's get back to my old self. And that, my friends, is the entire setup. Again, I still do intend to add and upgrade more things to this in the near future, but for now, I am really happy with where it is at right now. If you made it this far into the video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. And also, I am really, really sorry that I have been inactive this past year. And to all the viewers out there who have been waiting up until this point, this long, just for me to upload a new video, a huge thank you. I do hope that this year would be a different one and I could consistently make more content. That's all for today, guys, and have a happy new year.